the name of the Lord is a strong tower for us. And we run into it and we are safe. That's our source of safety. The name of the Lord, Yeshua. No wonder the Bible says, In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that what? All power belongs to God. So the name of the Lord is a, is a strong tower for the righteous. It's our safety. Praise the Lord. Now, what is safety? I have mentioned this and we now need to get what safety means. Safety means being free from trouble. Being free from what? Trouble. Being free from trouble. And we know that this world is a world full of trouble and all sorts of wickedness. Praise the living Yeshua. But by the grace of God, we know we, every one of us the righteous, we have safety. Let us give our hands together. Let us give the Lord our hands together. For the safety that we have guaranteed us. Praise the living Yeshua. So, safety means being free from trouble. Being free from trouble. It also means a state of being secure. There's nothing as enjoyable as being having security from God. I'm talking about security from God. The, the Bible makes us understand that if the Lord doesn't keep eye upon the house, the people that are securing it, they are doing it in what? They are doing it in vain. They are just wasting their time. So when God is securing you, you can be rest assured that there will be no problem. You will have rest. You will have peace. But now we're talking about the name of the Lord, which is a strong tower, even if the righteous draw into. If you don't have access to the name of the Lord, or if you are not righteous, it will not work for you. But if you and I have it, it will work for us. It has been working for me by the grace of God, and I thank God for the testimonies. And I also, I, it is my, my own greatest joy that it will work for another man that is listening to me in this service or all around the world. And I pray you will also share the testimony in the mighty name of Yeshua. So, we are talking about safety for the righteous. We are not just talking about only physical and spiritual safety. We are talking about physical and spiritual safety. We are talking about safety for the righteous that will cut across your life in this earth and in eternity. Praise the name of God. Because life doesn't end in this place. Yes, life has one way or the other started in this place. But it doesn't end here. Life goes beyond after you leave this planet earth. But how can that life be secure if you don't have Yeshua? It is not possible. That is Jesus Christ. If you don't have Jesus Christ, it's not possible. So, for us to be safe, for us to have safety in this life and in the life after this life, we have to be in Jesus Christ. We have to be in Yeshua. We have to be in Yeshua. That's why our text has told us this morning that the name of the Lord is a strong tower in which was the righteous. They run into it and they are what? They are safe. I pray that you will be safe and I will be safe in the mighty name of Yeshua. So after making that establishment, what, what are the necessity of safety is the next thing. Necessity of safety. Anybody that is driving today knows that safety precautions are important or else there will be accidents. Praise the living Yeshua. If you are working in a workshop, if you don't take safety measures or safety precautions, you are going to end up with accidents that can even take your life. Praise the name Yeshua. Wherever anybody finds him or herself, you are supposed to be observing safety precautions so that things don't go out of hand. Somebody in the kitchen, if you don't observe safety precautions, there can be gas explosion. From there, you can lose your life, you can lose your property, and everything will get under just because of little gas explosion or one safety measure that you did not take into consideration. So safety is necessary. It is not something that we, we, we can we have to even explain anything about. That's why we call it necessity of safety. Safety is necessary. It's not an it's not optional. It is what it is necessary. Praise the name of Yeshua. And today we are talking about safety for the righteous. So even safety is necessary for the righteous. I will thank God for the name of the Lord, which is a strong power, in which the righteous run into, and their words, they are saved. So, necessity of safety. Number one, why is it necessary? That's the question. We say it is necessary. Why? Why is it necessary? Let us go there. Number one, the whole world lies in wickedness. The whole world is wicked. Let us look at our books to, uh, Bible to the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 19 to 20. 
these are not things that we are just saying from our mind. These are things that has been written in the word that Yeshua has given unto us for us to meditate while we are on earth. First John chapter 5, verse 19. First John 9, 5, 19. First John 5, 19. First John 5, 19. We are going there now. First John chapter 5, verse 19. First John 5, 19 makes us understand that we know that we are of God. Did you hear that? The righteous ones talking there. That line is for those who are righteous, who have accepted Yeshua as their Lord and personal Savior. Those who have accepted Yeshua and as their Lord and personal Savior. He says, we know that we are of God and that the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. Praise the living Yeshua. Please take note of that. First John chapter 5, verse 19 to 20. Anybody listening to me, you need to take note of that. That the whole world lies in wickedness. If you are here and you are listening to me, write that down. First John chapter 5, verse 19 to 20. First John 5, 19 to 20. We know that we are of God and the whole world lies under what? Wickedness. Praise the living Yeshua. Praise the living Yeshua. Please take your notes and write. Very important. Take your notes and write it down. First John chapter 5, verse 19. We know that we are of God and the whole world lies in what? In wickedness. And our Bible tells our topic for today says safety for the righteous. So, talking about wickedness of the world is something that we need to understand. And as righteous people, we need safety. If you don't have safety, how can you survive in this kind of world? Praise the name of Yeshua. So, safety is necessary. First John chapter 5, verse 19. Take note of that. Write it in your notes and meditate upon it when you get home. Write it down. First John chapter 5, verse 19 to 20. The whole world might be there. Another reason why safety is necessary. Number two reason why safety is necessary is the kingdom of the world is under the control of the devil. Most of the kingdom of the world. Most of the kingdom of the world, they are under the control of the devil. Let us find that. That can be found in Matthew chapter 4, verse 8 and 9. Matthew 4, 8 and 9. Matthew chapter 4, verse 8 and 9. This talks about when the devil was tempting Jesus. The devil wanted Jesus to, to do certain things. Yes. The devil take it him up to, to a high mountain. And showed him all the kingdoms of the world. That same devil showed Jesus, showed Yeshua, all the kingdoms of the world. And the glory of them. And their glory. He showed them the kingdom of the world and the glory of them. Verse 9, continue. And he said to him, All these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Praise the living Yeshua. So the kingdoms of the world, many of the kingdoms of the world are under the control of the devil. So if they are under the control of the devil, and we know that our adversary is the devil, don't we need safety from Yeshua? We need safety from Yeshua. Praise the living Yeshua. That means we need safety from where? From Yeshua, from God. And that is why we are saying it in John 2.18. That the name of the Lord is a strong tower in which the world, the righteous run into, and they are saved. So because we have the name of the Lord, we have what? Safety from all these things that I mentioned. Because we have the name of the Lord, we have safety from all these things that we are doing what? That we are mentioned. Praise the name of Yeshua. I pray that your safety and my safety will be permanent in the mighty name of Yeshua. I pray that we will not lose our righteousness in the mighty name of Yeshua. So, because of this, we need to be closer to Yeshua. We need to come to Yeshua. We need to make use of the name of the Lord that is a strong tower in which the righteous, us, the believers, the righteous run into it. Don't forget our topic. Our topic is safety for the righteous. So we are targeting the righteous today. And we want everyone who is listening to us to also come into that circle. Praise the name Yeshua. We want them to come into that world, into that circle. 
so that you can also benefit from what they are benefiting in the circle of righteousness. Praise the living Yeshua. Now, another reason why there is, we, there is a necessity for safety in the kingdom of God is necessary. Is necessary. Necessity of safety. That's time because uh, the, the reason why is the kingdom of God is a struggle. Praise the living Yeshua. Don't let anybody deceive you. Nothing is easy in life. Same thing even in this journey of, of our Christianity. It's not an easy journey. It's a struggle. Do you know what I mean of struggle? Something that will, that will require, that will consume your effort, consume your energy, consume your intellect, and anything that you have, you will spend that strength. That's the meaning of a struggle. Praise the name of Yeshua. Life is a struggle on its own. Then the kingdom of God itself is another struggle on its own. It's a struggle. That can be found in Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. Matthew 11 verse 12. Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. Matthew 11 verse 12. And he says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violence taken by what? By force. It is that the kingdom of heaven, praise the living Yeshua, which is the kingdom that we are preaching about today, which is the kingdom that every righteous man belongs to. If you are a righteous person and you have accepted Yeshua as your Lord and personal Savior, we are talking about the kingdom of heaven. You belong to the kingdom of heaven. And in this same kingdom of heaven, this word Bible is telling us that from, uh, from all the prophets and John, or, um, for, for all the prophets and the Lord, they prophesied unto John. Um, but from the, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violence takes it by force. So for you to be a righteous person as well, you must be violent in the kingdom of God, in the way of God. The violence there is not physical violence. It's not carrying weapons and carrying objects that can destroy physical things. No. The same Bible makes us understand that the weapons of our welfare, they are not what? They are not carnal. They are not physical. They are spiritual. Okay, why we say the name of the Lord is a, is a tower in which the righteous run into? Can you physically see the name of the Lord? Nobody can see the name of the Lord physically. But it, it, is, it is working wonders in the spirit. Praise the living Yeshua. So this name of the Lord that we are talking about, it is a strong power, it is powerful, it is, it is a very strong weapon in the spirit that us in the kingdom of heaven, we use it to, 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 we use it to, to win the struggle in the kingdom of heaven. We use it to win what? The struggle in the kingdom of heaven. So the kingdom of heaven is a struggle and the name of the Lord is a strong tower in which we use when we want to carry out the struggle. When we want safety, we use the name of the Lord. Praise the living Yeshua. Now, I've talked about the necessity of safety. From these things I've said now, you, you and I believe that when we talk about safety, we are not joking here. We are talking about things that are necessary, things that you carry out, things that every believer should take to heart, keep it in your heart. I should keep it in my heart, you should keep it in your heart. Now, for us to benefit from all these things that we have mentioned, or for us to overcome, we must be on the side of God. That takes us to the next part, which says, be on the side of the Lord. Say to yourself, I must be on the side of the Lord. I must be on the side of the Lord. So the next part of this now takes us to be on the side of the Lord. Be on the side of the Lord. That's the next part. Be on the side of the Lord. You must be on the side of the Lord. I must be on the side of the Lord. For us to benefit from this name of the Lord. The safety that comes with the name of the Lord. The necessity of the safety, we have said it, the whole life, the wickedness, the kingdom of God is, the kingdom of the world is with the devil. And the kingdom of God is a struggle. So now, be on the side of the Lord. How can this be done? Number one, we have to call upon God. Praise the living Yeshua. We have to call upon God. Now, let us see the first reason why we need to call upon God. That can be found in Psalm 
chapter 91 verse 15. Psalm 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 91 verse 15. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. 
Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Father, in the mighty name of the 
Yeshua. Let us never lose our righteousness in you in the mighty name of Yeshua. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Yeshua Amen. and let only be prefer the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. We thank you because we know you are master. In Yeshua's mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen.